Dinosaurs had a very tight grip on almost all land ecosystems during their reign, and it is now becoming increasingly more obvious that some of them dabbled in aquatic habitats as well. This was spectacularly well shown in 2014, with a string of discoveries showing that Spinosaurus was heavily linked to the water, a relationship that continues to be better understood to this day, but discovered around the same time, and somewhat overshadowed by the spiny aquatic giant, was another considerably smaller dinosaur that was found to be aquatic as well. It was called Holschcoraptor, and due to its watery ecosystem, ended up evolving to look like a duck, but was actually a tiny raptor. Holschcoraptor was an odd beast, but the story of how it was discovered was equally odd. The original fossil that the creature was named from was actually removed by fossil poachers and sold privately, an act which is illegal in Mongolia. The Mongolian part of the Gobi Desert is one of the richest fossil beds in the world, with at least 5% of all dinosaur species being discovered there, and so private fossil exports have been outlawed. The original Holschcoraptor was smuggled out of the country, where it found its way to Europe, through changing the hands of various private collectors. After learning that there was a strange goose-necked dinosaur circulating around the black market, a fossil dealer named Francois Esquelet secured the specimen, and then sent it to the Natural History Museum in Brussels to be scientifically examined. Given the strange traits of this new dinosaur, paleontologists were concerned that the fossil may have been forged. Often, when fossils have been through the black market, they can be a jumbled assembly of bones that actually would have been from several different animals in real life, or can have fake parts attached to them in order to increase profits. For instance, in 1999, a new dinosaur was discovered named Archaeoraptor claimed to be an incredibly important fossil showing the transition from dinosaurs to birds, but it turned out to be fossils from two different animals glued together. After this new fossil was extensively examined, it was found that it was indeed an authentic fossil of a real animal, but was just really bizarre, and it was named Holschcoraptor esquilae, with the chosen species name thanking Francois Esquilae for his help. Holschcoraptor was a raptor that took to the water and due to its new habitat started to develop many features we see in aquatic birds. It was a little bit bigger than a mallard duck and had long legs ending with the infamous sickle claw of other raptors or dromaeosaurids, but had an incredibly long goose-like neck and goose-like head. Its tail would have not been heavy enough to counterbalance its large neck, so it is thought that it would have held its head back in the distinctive S shape of geese and swans. Holschcoraptor was almost certainly a predator that caught aquatic prey, most likely fish. It had about twice as many teeth as other dromaeosaurids hidden under its bill, and they were thin and curved backwards, which is seen in modern piscivorous predators. Its bill has been likened to the sawbills of Megansers. Megansers have beaks, but their beaks have small serrations on the side of them that allow them to grip aquatic prey, and they look very similar to the teeth of Holschcoraptor. Holschcoraptor's neck was also around the same length of its body, and long necks are a feature commonly seen in more modern fish-eating birds as well. It has also been argued that Holschcoraptor may have been able to dive to catch its prey as well, because the bones in its small dinosaur clawed wings actually share some features with swimming and diving birds like penguins. However, one of the most interesting discoveries on its fossils showing how this creature may have hunted are the many channels running down its snout. These channels are strikingly similar to the channels in the snouts of crocodiles and aquatic birds that ferry nerves to pressure sensors that help them detect vibrations in the water. The other aquatic dinosaur, Spinosaurus, has similar structures on its snout that are also thought to be used as pressure sensors as well. So while in the water, it was probably very difficult to distinguish it from a modern aquatic bird. However, while out of the water, it would have looked incredibly strange and different, because it had much longer and stronger legs than aquatic birds of today, and claws. But its hip structure and small tail show that it would have walked much more upright than other dinosaurs so it would have looked very much like a goose on dinosaur legs. These long sturdy legs would have made it well suited for walking and running on land as well as swimming. Because of the complicated discovery behind Holschcoraptor, it can't be 100% known where it came from, but it most likely came out of the rocks 
of the Jodokta Formation in southern Mongolia. The Jodokta Formation is a dinosaur fossil treasure trove found in the Gobi Desert that contains fossils of very famous dinosaurs like Velociraptor and Protoceratops that Holshkaraptor most likely would have lived alongside. Amazingly, the climate in the Gobi Desert hasn't actually changed very much since when the dinosaurs that would have lived here were still around. 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous, Mongolia was very dry and arid like it is now, although perhaps a little hotter and a little less dry. There are many fossils from turtles and crocodiles found here, showing that there were rivers and lakes scattered throughout the area. Holzkaraptor would have occupied a similar habitat to the Nile River, a very lush ecosystem of water and greenery surrounded by an arid habitat. So the rivers and lakes that it made its home in may have reduced in size during the drier months, and so there would have been advantages to not being solely reliant on water and still being able to run on land. Holzkaraptor was found to be closely related to two other mysterious Mongolian raptors, forming a lineage of dromaeosaurids named the Holzkaraptorines. The other Holzkaraptorines are only known from partial remains, whereas Holzkaraptor is actually known from an almost complete skeleton, so much less is known about them. They may have been fish-eating dinos as well, however it is known that they weren't as well adapted to a semi-aquatic lifestyle as Holzkaraptor. The Holzkaraptorines are very distantly related to their more famous relatives like Velociraptor or Denonychus, and are actually descendants of a very early branching in the raptor family tree. The closest dinosaur family to the Dromaeosaurids are the Truodontids, and Holzkaraptorines branched away from the other Dromaeosaurids so early in their evolution that they still have some Truodontid features. Holzkaraptor went extinct about 70 million years ago, but will always show one of the strange pathways that dinosaur evolution went down before their extinction. Thank you for watching, and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, especially the large contributors that are listed here. If you like content like this, then consider supporting the channel as well.